Look at this, it's the hottest part of the day. They love to hide under the grasses here. At least I know where to find them at certain times of the day. If they find a slug, if they find a dead animal, they'll nibble away on it. Ah, oh, here she is, everybody. You've been asking about her, it's Lego. We're in the Redford enclosure, and funny story about Lego. Now, besides the fact that Lego is definitely special looking, those of you who know the channel and have been watching for a while understand that this is a result of improper care. Uh, I got her sight unseen from someone up north who said they had a perfect tortoise, they just needed to rehome it. I opened up the box, and when I saw her, I was pretty much aghast. I was like, oh my gosh, this is definitely not perfect. However, she's kind of, walked her way into my heart, this tortoise, and uh, she's an ambassador for how not to raise a redfoot tortoise. She was fed the wrong foods. She's got this really horrible, grotesque pyramiding, which has caused her spine, which is attached to the carapace of her shell, to grow wonky. Uh, she can move, she can eat, she's much happier nowadays. But here's the funny story, people. Uh, yesterday, I'm hanging out by the sliding glass doors in the back, and Leo looks out and goes, Lego! And she was loose, she was out. She was out of the enclosure. Uh, and then I started walking around and I noticed there was another redfoot tortoise. So I was like, oh man, there must be a breach in the wall. So uh, if you guys look at the enclosure, uh, we built it with this retaining wall that obviously the redfoots cannot scale in this area. Now I did notice that this rock was down here. And to me, if a tortoise is sufficiently motivated they could probably climb up this they're looking for this greenery here all the green down below they don't get they eat it they start nibbling away so i took this put it back up here but then i noticed that this has rotted away okay i fixed it yesterday uh, i had to kind of put this log jam back in the waterfall it's starting to rot away and i noticed that there was an area that they could walk up and over. They'll actually walk up the waterfall because if you look in this area, it's just lush. These guys love to eat everything green, man. They are basically the best lawn mowers on earth. Uh, the best yards keepers, if you will, landscapers. They trim everything red for tourists, to tortoise. So basically they kind of cruised up. So here's the problem. I had to walk around and look for all my tortoises, and it was kind of a bummer because uh, there's there's about 30 of them in this enclosure, so it was a big pain in the neck. Now, before I do one more look, I'll be straight with you guys. Come here, check this out. This is not any manufactured stuff. As we were uh, getting ready to film, if you look over here, we'll step right up. I did notice another tortoise right here. One of the females did climb out. I'm glad I noticed. I think she is the last one. Now the good news is, is that I've got a fence around the entire property. And the tortoises, they didn't go far because this must not have happened a long time ago because uh, I didn't start seeing tortoises climbing out until yesterday. So once I noticed that tortoises were getting out, I sprung into action, I got the kids, and we were all playing uh, find the tortoise around the big recreation pond. So this little girl eluded me yesterday, and so we're gonna put her back right now. And I also wanna find another tortoise that you guys have been asking about. Let's go find the tortoise that was hit by the lawnmower. She was actually out. I grabbed her yesterday and put her back in the enclosure. You go back in here. Now here's the thing. I might even find a baby tortoise out here one day because it is egg laying season. So maybe it's possible someone laid their eggs outside of the enclosure. Again, I'm not worried about them getting off the property because I've got a really great fence around the perimeter and the gate's closed all the time. So I'm not worried about that, but let's go find that tortoise and see how she's doing. So this will be kind of fun. Look at this, it's the hottest part of the day. Look at what these guys do. They love to hide under the grasses here and that's why it's so important when you plan out your tortoise habitat to make sure that there's shade for all these guys. Very, very important. At least I know where to find them at certain times of the day. I love the redfoots because they're so friendly, they're so fun. And these guys eat a wide variety of different fruits and vegetables and even some protein. If they find a slug, 
If they find a dead animal, they'll nibble away on it. In fact, there are a lot of tortoises that'll take advantage of protein if they find it. They're not exactly hunters, but if something's slower than a tortoise, they just might nibble on it. You can't pass up good protein in the wild, and certainly not here which is as close to the wild as I can give them in my backyard. Let's have a look. We gotta find that tortoise and hope that she's still in this enclosure. I hope I found the way they were getting out. You never can tell because tortoises are a lot more athletic than people think. Oh my gosh, now it's gonna be an adventure. Let me look under here. There's one under there, thanks Matt. Let's see if that's her. Nope, that's not her, but that is a pretty tortoise. We're looking for a tortoise that had a partially damaged carapace because she was hit by a lawnmower. And the good people at Bush Wildlife sent her here to the camp as she was convalescing. I don't think this is her, but this is a cool little cave that these tortoises like. Nope, that's not her. Nope, that's a male. All right, not in the cave. Holy smokes. But you, again, guys, you see how we've made that log jam just to try and keep these animals in this. Wait a second. Wait a second. I don't think I like this. This is a this is definitely a way I think these tortoises can climb out in this log. This is supposed to be up like this. You know what's happened? My cousins and nephew were here. Whenever the kids play, they sometimes walk back here and I think they knock the rocks down. Holy smokes, guys. I hope these tortoises haven't gotten out again. Let's go looking. Oh my gosh. Kids. There, there's something. We're getting over to this area. Ah, here she is. Holy smokes, that's good. I'm glad we didn't lose her. But check this out, this is really cool. This is a testament to how tough tortoises can be. She was shaved and cut. She must have been hit and then flipped on her side. And look at that. She was sliced down here, and then she was all exposed here. And what happened is over time, the shell grew back underneath and pushes the bone part of the shell out. They grow from the inside out. So eventually this is gonna lift off. And we've been seeing this process in videos over the years. I've been showing you guys her progress. It's slow and steady in a tortoise's life. And that's exactly what's happened with her. She was able to go ahead and repair herself with a little help from the friends at Bush Wildlife Sanctuary here in Jupiter, Florida. And of course, since she's an exotic animal and they mostly rehabilitate uh, native wildlife, they sent her to me to finish out her convalescence here at the camp. And she's just become an incredible survivor and educational ambassador here at the channel. So really stoked that she's doing so well. She's so heavy. You really know a tortoise is healthy when you can feel such weight uh, they weigh more than they you think they would and that's how you know the tortoise is happy and healthy and bright eyes No discharge from the nostrils. She's doing really well here So I just basically do the best I can by giving them a spacious environment to live in. I love it Let's just go ahead and check on a few other things and make sure they're not climbing out anywhere else. It's pretty steep here I don't really worry about them climbing out in this area um, I'm, I don't think that's something that they'd be able to get up. Maybe I could put a rock here just to shore it up, but everything's looking good. Let's go over to this corner though, show you. <coughs> I want to just show you guys. I extended this, made this taller, and of course we've got a, lo a rock there that they're not able to do unless they're ninja turtles, I don't know. But before we go, come on over here. I want to show you how these tortoises begin. We're going to walk on over here to Guapo and Lola's enclosure. And I want to show you four tortoises. We got to find these four little dudes uh, that I'm babysitting for my friend Alejandro, who also gave us, of course, let's go. Come here, you got to see her. I mean, let's get a little looky through with this. Poke on in there, Matt, and have a look at that croc monitor. She's out and about. That is Lulu. And Lulu is a gorgeous croc monitor here that Alejandro Lulu. gave me. One of, the, one of the croc monitors, real beautiful animal. Oh, she's interested in you guys. She's giving you kisses, saying hello to everybody. She's blind in that left eye, but she's gorgeous and she's just hanging out. Of course, you guys know I'm using, uh, working with customcages.com. We are getting her enclosure ready. I'm gonna be doing more work on it this week. So be on the lookout for some updates on that enclosure because we're gonna grab her and move her to an amazing habitat here soon. But 
I get distracted all the time, you know? I kind of, uh, that happens. Uh, there's so much to dis get distracted by. It's good that I'm ADD, isn't it? Because this yard is definitely an ADD kid's heaven. Let's go look in here. Now, Matt, be careful where you're stepping because we're looking for baby redfoot tortoises on the ground. There's one right there. Check it out. There it is. Go on in there. Have a look. Utilizing that beautiful little uh ecosystem that i created this is my own uh oh, i forgot he was up oh yeah that's all right that's that's uh lola right here but this is a young juvenile okay this is a red foot tortoise see how beautiful you see there is a little black but i'm gonna find a cherry head here in a minute and we'll show you the difference but this is one of alejandro's um he wanted me to take care of him because of course hurricane ian really devastated his property so they're living in here protected they've got a very nice uh environment here they're in with the chinese box turtles no big deal but we've got a water source we've got uh coverage so no birds or predators can get in and uh, we've got of course vegetarian lizards hanging out that's lola right there of course everybody say hello lola she's a sweetheart and then if you just peek under that grass you'll see her boyfriend that is senior guapo I'm gonna just throw this. Can I stand in there? You may stand in there, absolutely. Just watch your step. We're gonna find those babies. So anyway, guys, I'm just gonna to toss this tray out, this feeding bowl, and then I'm gonna come back in. We gotta find three more. Oh, I see him. Little red, who do you see? Who do you see? Right down below me. You do? Right here. Yeah, that's actually the Chinese box turtle, Matt. These guys are awesome. This is a Chinese box turtle. We have box turtles in the United States, but this is the Chinese box turtle, the Cora flava marginata. It's got a hinge right there, and that enables it to close up. That is not what we're looking for. What we are looking for are more baby redfoot tortoises. Now let's have a look. He's just hanging out here. If I were a baby redfoot tortoise, excuse me, Guapo. Thank you, my friend. If I were a baby redfoot, I would want to hide. Oh, well. If I were a turtle, I'd want to hide. There's another Flavo or Chinese box turtle right there. Okay, I knew I'd find someone under here, but they're gonna want to hide out under these uh, in this area. Oh my gosh, guys, look right there. There's one. Check it out. Look at how amazing they are at getting around this in, this habitat. This is crazy. Look where it is. Look at this. Holy smokes, it must have climbed over here, looked down and said, no way, man, I'm not going down that way. This is another little red foot, so cool. Here's the second one. I'm gonna put it back down in here, but they can climb all over the place, and that's amazing. They get around so nicely. So I like to come in here and check up on them so they don't flip upside down and bake in the sun. It is still pretty warm. So we'll go ahead and put this one back down here. And that's what I was saying, man. You got to be real careful where you walk in this enclosure. Look, there's a turtle. He just sneezed, didn't he? How cool. What do you think, Matt? You like this? Yeah. This is pretty cool. Not a bad job hanging out here with me at the camp. I don't see anybody over there. Let's go over here. I like getting dirty, guys. I can get down. Up. Oh, here's the third one. Ah, and this is the cherry head. So it's a bit different and I'll show you why. So number one, you see this marbling here? This is basically a redfoot tortoise that always keeps the red head. And they have a little bit more of a colorful shell, if you notice, all right? But they also have a little bit more black on the plastron. Um, but what really is indicative of who they are is just this beautiful markings that are gonna come out. The older they get, the more marbly they're gonna. Are you coming over to say hello to me? Guapo's. Grappo's nudging my hiney right now. If you want to look, what is he doing? Do I taste good or something? Check out it. What is he doing to me? He's licking me. I think he's gonna, I think he's in the mood to climb up my back. It's been a while, huh, Guapo? Holy smokes. I love this guy. I got this lizard in August of 2004. He was a little tiny dude, him and Lola. And now they're so much bigger uh, living here. So he's just checking me out. But anyway, back to these two. Uh, very cool stuff. So we've got three. There's one more hanging out. We got to find it. Let's see if we can find the last one. That's all I've been doing is looking for redfoot tortoises this week, or rather the last few days here. Oh, I found it. We're good, guys. Check it out. Everybody is happy and accounted for here. These little guys. Look at this one going down to take a little drink. Oh, let's see what happens. Let's see what happens. It went in the water. I can show you guys what happens 
uh, with these tortoises and everyone worries about them drowning and stuff like that but we've made some pretty cool habitat that they can get out of let's see if he can get out of this now normally this log is up against there but the turtles move it so I just want to kind of keep an eye on this dude and see what's happening but all four of them are good as you can see this is how redfoot tortoises look when they're young uh, I wouldn't let these babies out in an uncovered habitat until they were at least that big because they would just be perfect size for a raccoon or bird to grab. So let's see what this one does here. It's trying to figure it out. He's a little worried that that water might be too deep, but don't worry, dad's here to keep an eye on. Watch this, he's gonna float and he's gonna swim his way over. Redfoot tortoises can actually be buoyant in the water. Of course though, we don't want these guys to live in an aquatic habitat, but they will encounter water in the wild and they've got to know how to get out of it. So I try and give these animals everything they would uh, need to learn in the wild. You know, what would they encounter in their day to day? And as you can see, not a problem. This little guy got out without any drama. So there you have it. We got an update uh, telling you what's going on with our redfoot tortoises here at the camp. Pretty stoked to have these little guys to raise them up and babysit them for my friend Alejandro. As I am really stoked to have the croc monitors as well. I think I might just crawl over here, guys, and just watch these little dudes for the rest of the day. In the meantime, I want you guys to enjoy your animals wherever you may be, and uh, if you wanna watch more videos, we've got plenty of them here on the channel, so why don't you peruse some of the back catalog. In the meantime, I'm gonna get a turtle eye view right now, and just enjoy these little wind-up toys as they walk all over this enclosure. We'll see you guys again on another video. See you later.